Step nine is to open escrow. So you get your accepted contract and then the listing agent will open escrow typically with an escrow of their choosing. You as a buyer don't typically get to choose escrow or title companies in the state of California. It's customary for the listing agent to choose those things with the seller. So what happens when escrow opens? Your buyer's agent will um, give your information to escrow and escrow will communicate with you and give you wire instructions for your earnest money deposit. The earnest money deposit is typically 3%, but that was dictated in your contract of the purchase price. Make sure you call to confirm wire instructions. And ideally you get the escrow number from your buyer's agent who's getting it from the listing agent to make sure no bad guys have um, hacked anyone's email and given false wire instructions to divert your special precious money. We don't wanna see that happen. So you're gonna be wiring in your earnest money deposit. Escrow is gonna be sending you paperwork um, to sign, typically through DocuSign, but some of them will mail you a package if that's what you prefer and you can fill things out by hand. And I just wanted to share quickly, you're gonna have three streams of paperwork. Number one, you're gonna have escrow sending paperwork to you and you sign it and it all goes back and forth with you in escrow. Number two, you're gonna have paperwork with the realtors that are the seller disclosures, disclosing things about the home as well as the standard boilerplate disclosures from the state of California's Association of Realtors. Then you're also gonna have a third set of paperwork going back and forth between you and your lender. So three streams of paperwork, most of which are electronically signed. Very few things need wet signatures and that's what's gonna be happening during escrow. Um, additionally, you got some other steps that we're gonna talk about in the next video about homeowners insurance.